Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, the isolation color effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, this one's uh, been around, well, since uh, hand tinting of, uh, of movies, but uh, it's one of my favorites. It, it's, it's great for stylistic effect, and uh, if you do weddings at all, and if you can capture, you know, the bride's lipstick or the red roses or something like that, ooh, people would just love it. It's really, really easy in Premiere Pro. Just takes a little bit of tweaking to make sure you don't get some hard edges. Let's go have a look. So I uh, want to thank the folks at uh, Newman Films, which I'll put a link down at the bottom for uh, to make this clip available. It's actually a, a clip from the Red Dragon, but I've rendered it out just so I can play this a little bit quicker. And you'll notice that uh, I've highlighted just the torch and all the rest is black and white. How do we do that? Well, we're using leave color. So if you go to the effects and type in leave, then you'll see in color correction, leave color, drag that on there. And these are the settings I've got. So let me just reset everything back to normal. So uh, with the effect applied, but nothing selected, then we get this, which is the exact same as the original. First thing to do is to choose the color to leave. And right now it's just default to red. If you know the color, you can click in here and type in the color but most times you'll be clicking on the eyedropper and selecting one color. Now you're not selecting a range of colors. You change the tolerance and the softness over here. So I'm gonna click inside and grab uh, maybe something a little bit more yellow. Okay. The amount to decolor, so that's other than the, the yellow, the amount to decolor is zero. So as I start turning that up, you'll see that the rest of it starts to get grayscale or black and white. So typically you would leave that up to 100% and then tweak these two colors, uh, two settings down here. The tolerance, that means as the colors go from the color you selected, yellow, to other colors, that's what this number is uh, meaning. If I go all the way to uh, 99 or 100, then I'm choosing every one of the colors. And down to zero, I'm choosing none of the colors. And you can see as that grows, it starts to move up and down and add more of the colors. And what you might end up with is hard edges in there. The other one down at the bottom is to be able to choose whether you're using RGB or hue. And in this example, I found that RGB was better. I've got another example where hue works, um, but I also want to show you another great uh, tip, and that's if you click in here um, in the 2015 version of Premiere Pro, you can now choose the up and down arrows of your keyboard when you're inside here. So if I start going up, you can see I'm starting to encompass more of the oranges in here. And... Uh, if I hit the tab key, now I can get into the edge softness. And you can see that it removes those hard posterized edges. And you don't really need a lot in here. So if we have a look at this now, there's my effect. I've isolated that torch. Pretty cool. If I had trouble with maybe there was another torch over here or, or he was wearing uh, an armband that was yellow, then I could just draw a mask over there and move that around. All right, so let's try another one uh, with hue this time. And this is a, a great shot from Vincent Laferre. I've got a link down there where you can go and uh, see what Vincent's doing. Fantastic stuff there. Uh, in this clip, I'm isolating the women in here. And I'll just change this to RGB and you'll notice a difference right away. You can see how it is not getting as much of them and their face uh, as it is getting everything. And if I reset this to um, the default, this is actually a, 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 it's a really good demo version, but the reason this works is the background's green and the foreground is red for the most part, including their, their hair and skin tone, which is also the opposite on the color wheel. So it's, it is easy to grab this, uh, but I'll come down here and grab this red right there. 
and again the amount to color all the way up and you can see we get this posterization in some of these areas so and especially in here well that's the default uh, tolerance and as I said I'm going to use hue and you see just changing that from hue look what it did to her dress over there look at that boom it adds all of that because it is part of the hue of that red moving outwards so all we really need to do is soften this and watch what happens when I soften this too much you can see it's gonna bring everything else back so this needs a tiny amount of softness just to just like that now when I play that back I get this stylized look there's a bit of um, color coming back in here because it is part of that hue like I said I could draw a loose mask around here that means I'm just applying the leave color effect all right so a couple of clicks couple of tweaks and all of a sudden you've isolated color and it looks like you've gone in and masked everything out as long as those colors are as different uh, in that area uh, it's going to work out so hopefully you found this informative if you have then please click on the subscribe button to video reveal and if you're not already an adobe creative cloud user there's a special link in the description for you to get your free 30-day trial until next time i'm colin smith it's my job to get you looking your best mm -hmm.